go for it. Moving on to the occipital bone, this would be the back of your head. We have the occipital condyle, which are these two, which is where the C1 or the atlas is connected to, allowing movement. And we have the foramen magnum, the big hole in which the spinal cord passes through from the brain. And then we have the hypoglossal canals, which are these two holes, as you can see here. There's one hole here and one hole there, and that is where the hypoglossal nerves pass through. And next we have the transverse sulcus, which is this bone that comes across the thick, thick part of the uh, occipital bone. And uh, that's where the transverse sinus vein is attached to. And finally, we have the posterior cranial fossa in which the cerebellum rests upon.